Do you have an old Game Boy that is no longer working but you just can't throw it away? Or perhaps you even have an old style iPhone like so that also doesn't work? Well what you should do with these is sell them online to people like me who will try and fix them or to other companies that will actually display it and turn it into art. Yes, you heard that right, display it and turn it into art. So here I have a box which was kindly given to me for free by the company Grid. Now you can check out their website down below if you would like to get one yourself. I have not been paid in any way, but they did provide this to me completely free of charge. So let's open this box up and take a look at what Grid can offer. Immediately, I absolutely love the packaging. There seems to be a few little inserts with some other information, but I'm not interested in that. And there also seems to be something to mount this to the wall. The packaging itself is actually pretty decent, a really secure box with some foam. I love the attention to detail here with some dried plant. I have no idea what it is and some kind of wax seal on this. They've really gone all out to make this look like a true piece of art. So much so that I don't actually want to break the wax seal. I know that sounds silly, so I'm gonna try and take it off without breaking with the wax seal still intact and removed i can now slide off the ribbon and again rather than just tearing through this like a madman i am going to carefully open up because the packaging is absolutely awesome and inside should be the piece of art and that is a game boy that has been framed an original Game Boy that has been framed. And as you can see, it just looks absolutely awesome. But to get a better look, let's remove the protective film so we can get a crystal clear image of what this has to offer. So here is some close up shots of this grid display. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. What they have done is taken apart an old Game Boy that doesn't work. They did confirm that they only use broken Game Boys or other broken retro consoles and phones. Then they will take it apart piece by piece as you can see put it on some nice back in with art explaining what each piece is making sure it's all secured down and then they frame the whole thing and I think they've done a really good job at this so enjoy the rest of the close-up shots and we'll get back in a second If you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. Now for those of you who are a regular viewer, you know I like to take old consoles that are faulty and actually repair and restore them back into a working state. So what's my opinion on things like this where companies are going out of their way to buy the faulty consoles and frame them? Personally, I don't actually mind it. I do quite like it. I would much rather these faulty consoles be used either to be repaired like I do and used again in a working state or even displayed as art. To me, it is no different and it saves them being chucked in the bin. And I was speaking to Joe at Grid Studio because I wanted to learn more about this and I've asked him a few things. First of all, can you actually do it yourself? And unfortunately, Grid Studio doesn't provide anything at the moment to make your own. However, you can make your own. All you have to do is have a faulty console or buy one online, completely disassemble it like I am now, taking it apart into all the little bits that you would like to display. There's no reason why you have to fully take it apart you can take it apart as much as you want because you are making your own display then once you have it taken apart you can then work on the art background yourself you could just do this in paint if needed or by hand i'm very talented when it comes to art and i'm going to design it completely from scratch myself making sure it's absolutely pixel perfect so as you can see, I think I've done quite a good job here. So let's zoom out and take a good look at it. Yep, that definitely looks right. With your backing complete and printed out, you could then take all your disassembled bits and stick it and secure it all down using glue or double-sided tape into whatever configuration you want. After that, you can then just simply frame it and there you go, you have made your own. If you're not super artsy like me, or you just don't have the time, I'd definitely recommend just buying a completed display. As I mentioned earlier, all parts are official and you can definitely tell that by all the wear and tear and just comparing it to a third party shell. And I absolutely love that there isn't any third party stuff here. Those of you with a keen eye would see that I do actually still have the original serial sticker on. Unfortunately, Grid at the moment don't offer this option, which I think they should do. To have the serial sticker there to know exactly which Game Boy that was manufactured all them years ago 
has now been displayed. The reason they normally remove it is to make it look a bit prettier and cleaner because the serial sticker doesn't always look that good. I personally disagree with that statement. But with my background, I would love to talk about the elephant in the room and that is the onboard capacitors, mainly the aluminium electrolytic ones that look like this. The reason why I want to talk about this is because especially given the age of some of these consoles, they can leak over time. Why is that an issue? Well, here I have a Game Gear where the capacitors have actually leaked. I've now replaced these capacitors and they won't leak for another 15 to 25 years. But as you can see, there is a lot of discoloration and damage done to the pads and the joints of the rest of the board. So they should look like this, which is nice, sparkling and shiny, but as you can see, they look dull. And this was me catching it in time before significant damage was done. As you can see, other components did not fare so well. This is something you are displaying and it needs to look good. And it doesn't look good when the board itself has got corrosion all over it and all the parts are starting to dull and darken. To give you another example, if we look at this little part here, which has three little legs, you could see that the pads are completely unshiny, dirty and all sorts. And then if we compare it to one that hasn't had a capacitor leaked on it, you can see it's all shiny and looks good and ultimately is not damaged. I would, especially at the price they're asking for, include a service that replaces the capacitors for brand new ones. I would absolutely absolutely hate to buy something like this, display it to only find out that in six months time the capacitors have leaked to the point that it's starting to damage and corrode the board, making it look unsightly. I have actually replaced several capacitors myself and got several guides, one of them you can watch up in the iCard now on the top right on how to replace capacitors, but as you can see I'm just replacing some now on a different Game Boy that I have. You can find plenty of capacitor kits online to purchase, however if you are doing hundreds of these then you can just buy directly from component manufacturers in bulk at a very very cheap price, it's definitely doable and I would love to see these companies take this approach in replacing the capacitors in old consoles. I must thank Grid Studio once again for providing this to me free of charge and if you like what you see and you're interested in getting one there will be links in the description, I don't get anything from it and I'll certainly be looking at potentially buying some more for myself, certainly much better than anything I could make as you saw. Let me know what you think on these displays in the comment section down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts, any recommendations or improvements or just your general opinion on these things. 